Uh, welcome to your live. You're live. Hey, all right, I'm live. Excellent. So if you guys want to uh, meet me over at Robert E. Blackman on my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate that. I'm live now on my on my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate that. That would that would really be be cool here. Um, live chat, all chats are visible. Okay, very cool. So anyway, um, hello today, and I am about to show you some techniques uh, to file your paperwork. Uh, tax season is upon us, and if you have been working at home or if you work at home, sometimes it's really difficult to get your filing uh, situation put together. For me, it's difficult. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard for me. Um, I, I get sort of um, anxious, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, if you have like, I have my vision, my vision board, and uh, I've talked about vision boards before because vision boards are a great way for you to figure out what it is that you want to sort of kind of accomplish through uh, you know a set period of time, but um, within that, your vision changes. Sometimes you actually get some of the stuff um, done on the vision board, which is always the win-win. And so in order for you to file or get organized, you gotta have, <laughs> you gotta have, what we call a circular file. You gotta have a circular file. You gotta be able to, to purge um, information. Um, hey, over here, hey, if you guys are, are over here on uh, YouTube, say hello so, so that I can know you're in the queue. It will, it will pop up and let me know that you are here. Um, if you are over there, hello, everybody, hello. If you guys have questions, we're gonna sort things out because you cannot, you cannot, organize and file your things away until you sort. And so I'm taking off the things from my vision board from this last year. Gosh, there are things on here that have clearly been here a while and I either accomplished them or changed my mind. And so first things first, we want to, we want to clean before we purge. That is the first thing, and you've got to be you've got to really be in the mindset to do it. You've got to you got to put you got to put away the time. You got to put away the willingness to purge. And I talk about purging a lot because it's important, but I don't want to make it like it's easy because it's really difficult for me. It's really difficult to get rid of things, because I'm like, maybe I will use that later, or maybe I'll make that later, or maybe I will whatever that at a later date. So it's really important for you to be honest with yourself and say that this is something that um, I no longer need, or perhaps I will try this at another date. Holding on to stuff because you might do something never allows you to do anything. Let me say that again. Holding on to things because you might do them in the future never allows you to do anything because you're always in that hovering pattern of I might, I might, I might, I might, I want to, I might, but then you don't because things happen. And so you gotta be, you gotta be honest with yourself about this. If you guys are new, subscribe, follow me, because uh, I'm Robert, I'm a lifestyle specialist, and I show you simple solutions to everyday situations. Purging and filing uh, for a lot of people is a big deal. Some people, they can just do it as they go. They open, an, they open a letter, they open a letter that comes in or a bill that comes in, they read it, they pay it, they file it, and it's done. People like me will open it up or not, sit it on the, on the uh, desk and the letters will pile up. I might open them if they look urgent. If they aren't urgent, they sit there. I'm better now, I actually open them up. I look at them and I put them in the file cabinet because I have a file cabinet with file folders. And I'm gonna get to the file folders in a second. But they sit in the file folder. 
And sometimes that's good because at least you know what you have, but other times you need to be able to get a step further. So one step at a time, um, we are purging and see just in the, just in the couple of minutes here, I have taken my, my cork vision boards and I have taken off all, all of these uh, cards for my, my vision board. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to actually go through them and purge what needs to be purged. Um, and this is called, as you know, the circular file. And the circular file means that we're just tossing it away. Um, if you guys are new, please, Follow me on YouTube. I'm streaming live on YouTube right now, Robert E. Blackman. So please go to my, my YouTube channel, subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Robert E. Blackman. And um, I'll be doing more longer content like this on YouTube. So please follow me there. Um, so I'm gonna go through these and, and do this. And let me say this, even, even if this got stacked and pulled off of the boards, guess what? I got one thing done. One thing done already. So you've got it. You've got to celebrate the small victories. I got one thing done. And you can't, you can't say, oh my God, I want to do all this stuff, but I didn't get it. You got one thing done. So now I'm going to get the second thing done, which I'm going to, I'm going to honestly go through this file of stuff. I may or may not ever get to some of this, so I'm going to be honest. So these, this, my, my vision board are things for work and for my social media, and I may have done some of these things and not taken them off or not. So, let's see, we're throwing that out, that, throwing it out. If that happens, it'll be a long time from now, I'll think of it again, throwing it out, throwing it out, throwing it out, done, 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 nope, uh, done, needs to get done, I'm gonna hold this, that needs to get, that's important, it needs to get done. No, 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 you've got to be on, you gotta be honest about this. I don't even know when I thought I was gonna do this. No, already done, in the process. Um, holding on to that because that's a big one. Uh, no, holding on to that. No, finish, 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 finish. Uh, on hold, but I don't need that. Uh, finish and finish. See, look at that. You see, out of this vision, out of this vision board, out of all of those papers, out of all those papers, three, three cards. And what that does for my mental state is it, it gets rid of a lot of stress. I had two whole boards full of stuff, full of, I might, I hope to, I wish, I wish I will. And I threw all that stuff away. I don't even know how many cards it was. It was about 40 cards. Done. It's about the little victories. If you guys are new, welcome. Um, I'm showing you how to organize your files. First things first, you gotta be willing to throw stuff out. You all get so in your feelings with me when I ask you to purge. Y'all get in your feelings with me because I'm simply telling you that in order for you to move forward, oftentimes to organize, you gotta purge first. You gotta be able to purge in order to organize. So you need to be able to, to, to throw stuff out. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on the floor. And we're gonna get to the files. Um, hello, if you guys are new, please follow my YouTube channel, Robert E. Blackman. Robert E. Blackman, please, uh, please come over to my YouTube channel here. Uh, I'm live. Let me see if I can see if you guys have questions. If you guys have questions, uh, ask me the questions, and I will, I will uh, try to answer them. Live chat, all messages are visible. Okay. Um, Okay, if you guys have questions, just ask me the questions there. Uh, let's see. Um, I go from mailbox to the outbox recycle. That's good. That's really good. That's actually very good. From the mailbox to the outbox to the recycle. That, that's good. Not everybody's able to do that, though. Not everybody. There are people like me who have 
thousands of emails in, in their email, you know? And again, this is not about judging anybody. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not publicly shaming anybody in this. What I'm trying to do is give you some, some, some techniques, some ways to perhaps get to, um, to, to doing that. Okay, so now, file folders. File folders are very, very important because they allow you categories. And you need categories in order to do anything. Um, you can always break up things in subcategories, but you need categories. And so this is what I do. And you just take a marker or a pen. And yes, you can see here, you can see here I have um, um, blacked out this. It's because I've recycled this. There's a new, there's a new uh, name on the bottom where my finger is because I'm using it again. File folders you can always use again. You can always put a piece of paper or a tape over it and write over the tape as well, but they are very important. So this is how I tend to do things. So I organize them like this. So get yourself a card table, the dinette table, uh, the floor, somewhere where you can spend a bit of time organizing it. And, and again, I want to tell you, I'm not assuming that people can do this in one day because this has been sitting on here for three days. I told you, I'm honest. It's been on the dining table for three days and I'm getting to it now. But the beauty of it is if you put things in folders, you can pick the folders back up, put them somewhere and get your life back. So file folders are extremely important. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to separate the files in categories. So these are, so first of all, these are, um, for me, I've got employee or staff stuff. So my employee and staff bills, and see this is what happens when you grab a folder and don't put a name on it. I've got those two folders and this has stuff from both of those in it. So I've got to per I've got to sort this out and put those in there, but that's going to go there because those are those are my my employees and this this is work stuff. So that's work stuff. These are, these are my, um, these are my sponsors, sponsorships. These are all things that I have worked with. So these are sponsor and sponsorships, collaborations, social media, okay? And then we have some of that stuff. And then, because I wrote this book this last year, I've got several folders that have different uh, book things and then I have to sort them. What we're doing is we are sorting out the, or we're organizing the different categories. And again, if you've got, again, this this vision board or something where you can write things down, you can take pieces of paper and put them on the board so you can see it, or you can take little pieces of paper and write them uh, in pen or a marker and put them on top of the folders so that you can sort them, at least you can see, because a lot of people like me um, are visual, like I have to see through visuals. I have to see through the visuals. If you guys are just joining me, I am organizing my files. I'm showing you how you can organize your paperwork, your files. Um, thank you so much for the gifts. I am multi-streaming today. Um, follow me, subscribe on my YouTube channel, Robert E. Blackman, if you guys are subscribed um, and meet me over there. I would really appreciate that if you subscribe because I will be doing more of this longer content there. Um, so. Because I wrote the book, there are going to be lots of odds and ends, like this particular folder 
at first sight, this makes me nervous, but I know that these are things that just went out in the mail, but I can sort that afterwards. So it's just about getting the categories together. These, and this is also great, uh, great for you guys who do social media. If you do uh, content creation, I have a file of ideas. These are ideas, and rather than just keeping them swimming in your head, these are things that I found on the internet. These are ideas that you guys have sent me. These are ideas or collaborations that I'm thinking about working on in, in the future. Whether or not I ever execute any of these, they're in a folder. So this helps you um, organize stuff. Um, I keep a lot of tabs open on my computer um, and it kind of drives me nuts. But what I do after a while is I'm like, okay, is that important enough for me to actually keep? And if it's sitting there long enough and I, I'm like, okay, I want to eventually do that, I will uh, print it out and it will go into a physical folder. That way I have those ideas. So in those times, rare for me, but in those times where I'm out of ideas, all I gotta do is open this folder and go, oh, I forgot about that. Oh. I never did that one. Oh, and at a later date, I can go purge through this because I'm sure there are several things that in here that I've done that I need to get rid of. Okay, and then, um, okay, that's for a new phone. And then, uh, okay, so these are just, these are just uh, in general, these are just in general things. And you make yourself categories. You make yourself categories. Lord, this is old. Do I even need any of this? Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. This is uh, this is one of the uh, photos that I actually use on my social media, but I don't necessarily need it now. When I was going out on auditions pre-pandemic, you needed your headshot. We don't usually do that much anymore. Um, and then you just go through um, all of these. Let me let me see if you guys have questions. You have you have questions here. Let me let me check both things here. Um, if you've got questions, put them in the question bar um, at the bottom of the thing there. Please put them in the bottom of the the question the question bar, um, the Q and A, and I will gladly answer them if I can. And then I've got to sort through all of these. Okay, so those are those I sort through. These here. I've got some personal stuff. And then that's also oh, this is employee. And so what you have here, what you have here, and then all of this here needs to I'll just stack this together because all of this here, I literally just have to, in rapid fire, go through those. See, so these are, these are collaborations. Oops, those are collaborations with companies. And then that, the headshot's probably gonna get thrown away. Now that, this right here is the basis for organization. This is the basis for organization right here. So we basically are taking, you know, bring it back here so that you guys can see. This is the basis. It looks like a lot because it is a lot, but what I can now do methodically is go one folder at a time through here. There. Now, there's order. There's order now because I have a system. So the first things that I suggest you do is 
first of all, get a trash bin. <laughs> get a waste bin because you need to be able to purge, first of all. Secondly, get file folders if you don't have them. You can get them at um, your local staples or any organizational uh, place. Um, get a pen or a Sharpie. Write on them what the categories are. I keep a cork board, vision board all the time because I keep little note cards and I can always see what I'm looking to do. That way it reminds me of the various categories. And as you finish a category, you can take it and throw it away. And then when you have your papers as your letters, as your bills, as your whatever comes in, um, they get uh, they get sorted. Now I know a lot of people are completely electronically filed and that's great. But for those of us who physically need to see um, a, a, a statement, a bill, an invoice, it's important for you to be able to, to, to file them, right? And so, like if my agent says, oh, I'm missing blah, 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 I can go and look in my file and go and say, oh, here it is, and this is what, this, these are what the details are. And so now I take these files and then I literally go through the file and I see if the paper is needed or not. Since I'm doing all of this to get ready for my taxes for this season, I'm specifically organizing this for tax purposes. And so if it's, if it's a duplicate or an extra piece of paper that I don't need, it goes right in the garbage right in the garbage. If there are pieces of paper or documents that go for my taxes, they go in with the taxes. And then at the end, whether the folder is empty or not, it then goes back in my file cabinet or your file drawer or your box. Because, you know, you usually have the same or close to the same categories year in and year out. And when you have new ones, you add the new ones when a contract or something is done, don't throw away the folder, scratch out the name and put the new name on it. And that, that is the, the basis for getting your files in order. Um, again, it's not foolproof and I'm not sitting here acting like it's easy because my files are always a hot mess, always, but the difference between the way I used to be and the way I am now, I have, I have a system and this won't take me long because I have a category for each client or employee and I know exactly what I have and what I need to, to, uh, to coordinate. So I hope, I hope that helped. Um, for those of you who uh, have not already, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I will be doing more long con term, uh, long uh, content like this and also shorts. And um, I appreciate it. And I will see you next time. If you have questions, please hit, put them in the comments below. Thank you.